This is the part of the video where typical politicians try to make you feel good by showing images of the candidate kissing babies, holding puppies, and waving the American flag. Sorry, but we don't have time for that. My name is A.J. Kern, and I'm running to represent you in the United States House of Representatives. I want to tell you a little bit about who I am because I believe my story demonstrates how we are all truly blessed to be Americans. My husband, John, and I have been married 29 years and have raised two daughters, now grown. Today, I am a successful business owner, served in the Army Reserves, served as a planning commissioner, and I'm a former conservative writer for the St. Cloud Times. But my story didn't start out that way. I was born into poverty to 17-year-old parents who divorced shortly thereafter. We moved frequently. When I was 14, we moved to Iran. I was exposed to a third world culture and the treatment of women under Sharia law. It was a life-changing experience. In many countries around the world, life can be harsh and nearly impossible to change one's status in life, especially for women. Nevertheless, I had one critical advantage. I am an American. Under the constitutional framework of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, I had the opportunity to achieve and to change my life. Because of the Constitution and the American spirit, I was able to hear the message that I could do anything, that despite my humble beginnings, I could be anything. And I'm confident that you've heard that message too that our disadvantages do not define us, that we can write our own stories. But here's the thing, the America which has afforded opportunity for us, the America we want for our children, it's crumbling. The family structure is eroding, debt and deficits are growing, terrorism is on the rise, American values are being warped, and the Constitution is being ignored. As conservatives, we have long been the guardians of the Constitution. You, as a delegate, are the frontline defense of that Constitution, protecting our nation from government overreach and endless taxation and spending and other corrupt liberal policies. We've come to expect these things from Democrats. But today, there are even some within our own Republican Party who fail to fulfill their oath of office to protect preserve and defend the Constitution. They compromise. They make backroom deals. They sell out to lobbyists and special interests. They abandon the Constitution. I'm not okay with that. When Democrats ignore the Constitution, I'm frustrated. When Republicans ignore the Constitution, I'm furious. We cannot afford to let it slide when politicians that we elected to represent us ignore us and represent corporatism and special interest. If our current congressional representative had been the conservative he said he would be, I wouldn't be challenging him. I'd be supporting him. But our congressman received an F on his voting record from Conservative Review and a 63% rating from Heritage Action for America because of his voting record on key bills. While he has been conservative on gun rights, abortion, and Obamacare, our congressman has been liberal on trade, education, refugee resettlement, and immigration. In my book, that makes him a part-time conservative, and that's not good enough. We need a full-time conservative representing us in Washington. I will be that full-time conservative. We must work together to restore the Constitution and reject establishment politicians who are giving away the farm for a handful of beans. You have a clear choice in this election. If you want a smooth-talking, moderate, establishment career politician who answers the call of lobbyists and special interest, then you want Tom Emmer. If you're like me and are fed up with the business as usual in Washington and want a true constitutional conservative who is answerable to you, then I ask you for your support and your endorsement. May God bless you and may God bless America.